action! Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Fallon, do we have the sound on? Yeah. Okay, good. She knows what she's doing. Who am I to question Fallon Rose Davis back there? Anyway, guys, welcome back. As I already told you, uh, it's two weeks away from opening day of youth turkey season here in North Carolina. And we got a special video today. Uh, a couple years ago, our very own Gannon Pope, AKA G-Man, went down to South Carolina with his dad on a U turkey hunt. A hunt that he actually won on a Facebook drawing. Um, and they videoed it and we hadn't showed it before now and we're gonna let you guys see it. We hope you enjoy it. If you do, as always, like the video if you like it, share it with all your friends, comment below, subscribe to our channel, all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, we're working for a living and living for the outdoors. Thank yeah. you. Stacy Baldwin. Jay Pope, nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you, too. Your nice name is? Gannon. Gannon, how you doing? Stacy Baldwin. You ready to go kill a turkey? Yep. You shot one before? Yeah, once. One? We're going to try to do it again in the morning. You ready? Mm-hmm. I want to go roost a bird this evening. We got a few other things to do, and then we're going to get out of here. Guys, we're in camp with Jay Pope and his son Gannon. Gannon's the winner of our Facebook Youth Turkey Hunt Giveaway. We did some listening this morning. We're gonna go try to roost the bird in a little bit. As soon as we can get their stuff unloaded in the camp house, we're gonna head to the woods. Guys, come on, stick around. You wanna grab your stuff? I'll show you where we need to put it. Sounds good. So Gannon turned 10 today. 10? Yes, Happy sir. birthday. Yes, Thanks. sir. Oh man, this is gonna be a great weekend. <laughs> Yeah. 10 years old on your birthday today. I think we're gonna, well, let's go see if we can hear a birthday gobble. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. I ain't gonna swear to it, we're gonna go try. We're going where some turkeys live. Sometimes our birds gobble on the roost, sometimes they don't. Before we can go into the woods, I have to go by our sign and board. Mm -hmm. yeah. This isn't an exclusive property. We're all members of hunt clubs. We just got, we're getting to go hunting on turkey club land. land there's only been four turkeys killed this year we shot two of them on the opening day youth day right here
creek bottom, maybe 150 yards below this clover plot. We're gonna try to run around to another side of the club. We got about four square miles here, so we're gonna try to go get another one just so we know where he's at for later on in the morning. And as soon as it gets good and dark, we know these turkeys are asleep on the limb, we're gonna slide back down in here and put a couple of blinds on this clover patch tonight. We stand a good chance of shooting that bird first thing in the morning. Let's get out of here. Plus we're suffering, man. We got some hamburger patties. We're gonna make us some cheeseburgers. We got some Dale seasoning. We're gonna grill some pork sausage for breakfast in the morning. We're gonna uh, get the oven going in a minute, get our biscuits baking. We won't be having time for cooking in the morning. So Gannon, what'd you think when your dad told you you won the contest? Uh, uh, I'm almost passed out. <laughs> you were pretty excited when you got to see the video. Yeah. Did he get to see the video of the drawing? Is that what he found out? Yeah. <laughs> I bet that was pretty cool when you saw your dad's name get pulled out of that hat. My, um, my sister said um, that I'm the one to win that contest because I'm like really lucky. Well, I'll tell you. Sometimes I get a little lucky too, and I hope it pays out for us in the morning. We got yeah. it figured out. All we need is just a little bit of luck in the morning. It's like we got us some nice big hamburgers. That maybe I didn't shape them just right. Hey, I'll take any hamburger I can get. They are cooking good though. <laughs> it's really good. Sausage any good? Absolutely. Great. This is where I need it. Y'all up in my breakfast biscuit. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. About to get revved up, buddy. I think about halfway. It'll be got them for you know. Alright guys. It's the morning of April 9th. It's our big youth hunt. We left the shooting stick at the clubhouse. Jay and I flew back to the clubhouse and literally ran back down in here while Bill and Gannon got walked down to the blind. We're trying to get set up. Turkeys are hammering on the roost. We're running out of time. Turkeys are about to die. You gotta stick around.
chilling. Give you some oh. I can't believe y'all got all that stuff happening that quick. I mean that was that was a that was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna be, Bill, honestly. <laughs> Tell me what you think about that game. I I had planned on hunting until dark in the wind, in the tornadoes, it didn't matter. Y'all weren't even here whenever we heard the first gobble. <laughs> Guys, we just had an off the roof, just a shotgun hunt. Forgot to shoot and stick again. Bill and Gannon come slipping down in here in the dark. Jay and I flew back literally. to the clubhouse. Literally flew. Breaking the law. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Grabbed the shooting stick, flew back, jogged down the hill a half a mile to get here. Out of breath. Out of breath, stuck these decoys in the ground. Turkey's already gobbling when we get back. Bill and Gannon been listening to these birds hammer over here in this bottom just kind of. And it's over. <laughs> it's over. I'm just so thankful. Right, roll it. Take your headset off and take it. All right. <sighs> Buddy. We did it, man. It's the hammer shot. Let's go see him. Let's pace it off. Thirty-six yards. Hammer. Those are the sharpest three quarter inch spurs I've ever seen. Would not want those jabbing through your cast. Look how sharp those are. All right, folks, we're here with Gannon Pope, our Facebook youth hunt giveaway winner. Yesterday was his 10th birthday. He got an all A report card. We got to hear a turkey gobble on the roost. And when we come back to put up the blinds, we found a six point shed. A pretty good birthday. We road race in here this morning. Turkey's gobbling on the roost. We jump in the blind, make a few tree calls. They hammer, hammer, hammer. They fly down, walk from the roost tree to the plot, see the decoys, run up to us, and now one's dead. And it literally happened as fast as I just said it. Um, I can't remember half of it. It was over pretty quick. It's a good thing we got video evidence. Because guys, these three gobblers, apparently were all about us this morning. Um, little tree yelp on the wing bone was all the calls we gave them, not much at all. They were hot, we were in a spot they wanted to be anyway, and, and, and this is what happens. We got a nine and a half, 10 inch beard. We got the sharpest three quarter inch spurs I've ever seen. They might be seven eighths. These were the hard charging two year olds that you always hear about. I, I, I just really want to thank y'all for letting me have this hunt, let, letting all of us even get a chance to do this hunt. I know you spend a lot of time with kids and try to actually get them out there, you know, and be outdoors. Well, I'll tell you, Gannon, this right here, being able to do this with you, that's thanks enough. That's why we do it, buddy. I appreciate y'all coming down. <sighs> Man, we got a long walk back to the truck. We kind of jogged in here this morning. I think we're gonna take a little slow walk on the way out. Whew. Gannon's got a bird to tote. <laughs> it's the hero walk, buddy. You got him? Get a hand on him, get a hand on him. You got him? Yep. All right, let's go. Yeah, that's probably yeah. 17 pound turkey. 
What you think about the hunt? What would you think about your first hunt in South Carolina? I, th I think it was just plain awesome. That's a good uh, word. I I think that we're just blessed to be here and be able to hunt. You know. I I don't think we could have made it go any better this morning. If we'd have wrote a script, it would have went just like that. Right. If we could have wrote it down before you got here, yep. that's exactly the way it would have went. Yep. We'd have heard a bird gobble on the roost. We'd have got in position for him in the dark. They come in off the roost, they gobble, you get to see a show, they run up on the decoys, and you crush one. That's as good as it gets right there. Yeah. That is that is really everything you can expect out of a roost hunt. Yeah. I'm glad you got to come down and I got to see you crush one. I've enjoyed it. Jay, today. that's a fine young man you got right there. He Thank is a guy. turkey killer for sure. Again, he didn't have any problem getting we it enjoyed done. It, Thank I you, did buddy. too, Jay. We know y'all got about y'all about three hours, right? Yep. Yeah. All right, we're going to let y'all get on the road, have a safe trip home, right. and uh, we might get you back down next year. You never know. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to try it. It's, uh, sure, we appreciate it, guys. All right, Absolutely. Man. You guys drive care. Be good. Take care. Guys, we have just wrapped up easily one of the top five youth hunts we've ever done. When we say it was perfect, it was perfect. That's over and done with. Time for Bill and I to round up some guns. Go see if we can get on a bird before this wind gets any worse. Y'all come on back and see us.